What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel today, we're going to be playing some Black Ops Cold War of course, but we're going to be looking at the best controller settings that you guys should be using to be able to challenge people as well as possible, be as accurate as possible, and just have the best settings you can going into the beta and of course the game when it first launches. In Black Ops Cold War there are quite a few different controller settings that you can use, a lot of them are pretty uh, much the same as other CODs, so you don't really need to think about it too much, but I think there are some main things that you potentially need need to look at especially on a playstation controller again just to put this out that these are the settings for me these are my best settings and the settings that i always use so things like sensitivity will differ and of course ads stick sensitivity will differ as well so that will be tailored to you the rest of the stuff though it's entirely up to you and how you feel about it okay moving on to the controller settings in the game so this right here are the settings that everyone will see when they go into the game so you'll have obviously your input device at the top which will be your controller your actual sensitivity your ads sensitivity your button layer out if you flip it or not on a playstation controller and then obviously the invert look and controller vibration things like that and then of course down here you've got a couple of extra things that yeah you don't really need to, to mess with to be honest it's just it's, it's just as it is it's just normal but the top is what we need to look at so i play on an 8-8 sensitivity and it works quite well for me i did start on a 6-6 but i thought the game needed to be a little bit faster you know i think you thought you need to be able to turn on people a bit better so i increased it to an 8-8 and it's been working well for me obviously a lot of people play on different sensitivities a lot of people play on slower sensitivities but i find that because especially on satellite which is quite an open map if you're playing on a low sensitivity you're going to get turned on quite a lot and you're not going to be able to turn on them as quick or effectively so i always find that trying to get used to a higher sensitivity on a game like this always benefits and always helps really well so that's why i'm rocking an 8.8 along with the ads stick sensitivity for low zoom and high zoom i go for 0.0 nine zero now it's only slightly slower so basically if you lower it it will slowly decrease so if you lower it for example if i'm using um, an mp5 or if i'm using one of the ak-47s or something like that when i'm aiming in and then i'm moving left and right so whilst i'm aiming in so basically when i'm strafing the sensitivity of me aiming in and moving is slower which i find gives me a bit more accuracy and you can also do that for sniper rifles as well which is the ads stick sensitivity for high so with a sniper if you feel like you are missing some shots and it's because you're over overreaching a little bit you can move play with this a little bit and maybe fine tune it to actually benefit you quite a lot so i have a 90 and a 90 on both of these and they seem to work quite well so i'm just going to stick with those for now but again you guys will need to play around with that to uh to cater to your play style and the way that you guys will play the game as well a very controversial one which i love and ever since in modern warfare i found out this was a thing i've been rocking it ever since so previously i used to play with an xbox one elite controller and then you used to also play with a playstation scuff and before i used to play on tactical I loved it, I thought it was great, but I didn't need to spend the money because there is a button layout option called stick and move. Stick and move effectively lets you jump with this button here. So on the PlayStation controller, you can see that's my aiming button and that's the button I jump with. So I press it down and I can jump. And then I uh, melee with the X button, which was the jumping button and everything else is just standard. It works so, so well. You don't need a scuff. You don't need to mess around with paddles. You don't need to play claw. You don't need to do anything. Everything it's still on the controller and you're just jumping with this it's like it's absolute game changer for me and ever since i found out this was a thing i've absolutely loved it so and it's changed the game for me so try this out guys it's it's really good it's not just on playstation it's on xbox it's on i don't know gamecube whatever controller you guys use i don't bloody know but it works on anything everything try it it's honestly really beneficial and if you haven't already as well moving on to the next option the flip on the playstation controller it's a must man i don't know how people play like this it i just I, I, how do people play like this mate i don't get it i play with r1 and l1 as a shoot and aiming for me your trigger fingers better if you're using a semi-auto and it's just top of the controller so much easier i don't know how people play with l2 and r2 it really blows my mind and if you do i've got to commend you but guys try it out if you don't like it obviously switch back but i've always played flipped and i feel like ever since i have my accuracy is much better and i'm just a far better player when playing flip so if you don't like flipped let me know why and if you do play flipped let me know if you actually prefer it and 
yeah, that's my favorite. It's my favorite. I always play flipped on a PlayStation controller. Can't do it on Xbox, so just PlayStation. And then of course the bottom bits, controller vibration, quite a controversial one. I play with it on and off. I don't I don't really know what's better for me. I've not turned it off in this game because I haven't really thought about it. I might try it off actually because I've not actually played with it off yet and it may increase accuracy for me. But again, it's entirely up to you. I would typically play with it off, but in this game I've, I've had it on and I've not really noticed it. So <laughs> can't be that game changing. And then if you play with an infert look, and if you play with inverted vertical look then you're a psychopath so just uh yeah <laughs> okay but there's also one extra bit that you probably didn't know was a thing on this so if you actually look at the very bottom of the page and then if you press down the left stick it will show you some advanced options which uh, weren't actually won't show up if you don't click it but anyway it brings up a couple of other different things so controller sounds if you hate the sounds of the controller which i do because it just gets in the microphone when i'm playing and it just means that i've got extra background noise and extra echo it does my head in on a playstation controller so make sure that's turned off if you like if you don't like that but if you're into that sort of stuff then of course you know keep it on it's entirely up to you but i turn it off so it doesn't interfere with my mic and it doesn't give you like an echo when you can hear me playing games and stuff like that so again down to you these ones here the left right the left stick minimum input threshold the right stick minimum input threshold so, so it's basically the response time to moving these sticks left and right so if i'm pushing forward i would expect it to be instant moving forward if i'm moving it back instant moving it back i'm looking left and right the same thing the response time these are the things which you would effectively to, to alter your response time so if the threshold was really low it means it will take you quite a lot of movement in the stick in order for you to actually make an action whereas if to mess with the threshold quite a lot it basically means that the little inputs they won't be picked up by the controller so it means i can do this and you won't actually be able to look anywhere so you've got to seriously do a big movement in order for it to count if you, i don't see the point in doing it to be honest so i've left them as they are this is exactly what they were when they first uh when i obviously found this little tab and i haven't touched them but if you want to mess around with them see what they actually do go ahead and do it i wouldn't recommend doing it but uh, again it's entirely up to you guys and then down here as well in gameplay you've obviously got a lot of different options as well now you've gone with this advanced options too so a lot of this stuff is quite um detailed and you that's obviously why it's called an advanced option but if you really want to mess around with this guys go ahead and do it and below this stuff is basically like automatic move forward automatic sprint uh you can actually cancel reloads and stuff like that um and then it will which will come in handy but again on modern warfare this was, wasn't really a thing so i'm kind of used to not doing it right now but i might try it on there are ways to get around obviously cancelling your reload in other words changing weapon and then swapping back so just double wiring or something like that so again if you want these uh, sprint cancels to reload then do it but i don't think it's necessary i've never really used it and in modern warfare i'm so used to it now i don't actually need to put it on that often and i don't really get in that many situations where i've got to reload cancel so it's entirely up to you and your personal preference but i would probably say no um but again it's whatever you guys feel again sprint behavior aim down sight behavior uh steady aim you don't really need to any any of this sort of stuff um a lot of this is like also coming from modern warfare so you've got interact reload behavior so this is like contextual tap from modern warfare so on warzone you tap to pick up an item or you tap to open a door or you uh, hold to reload you can change this as well so again you uh you may tap to reload and interact both are available simultaneously or tap to react effectively tap to react hold to reload which is effectively contextual tap from modern warfare so it's entirely up to you and how you want to configure it i've just left it as it is um but to be fair i'm, I'm tempted to move it back to contextual tap just so i'm used to going back to warzone because it's going to be horrendous trying to tap and you know, pick something up to reload uh, that's gonna be a nightmare but guys that's all the audio the controller settings that we've gone through today so um go through them yourself have a look uh, go into the advanced options have a mess about and if it does get out of control and you've changed too many things just click the right one down and you can reset all of your options back to what they were previously so uh, guys i hope you have enjoyed if you do be sure to leave a like on this video let me know what you guys think of the black ops cold war alpha as well for me i'm really enjoying it skill based matchmaking is in the game and it's ruining ruining it a little bit for me it is what it is it is what it is you're not going to be able to change it so uh have a good one guys we'll see you in the next video.